What's up guys, Commander Alex here, and today I have a guide for the hero Scarf. Now Scarf's a really interesting character, and he has a lot of intricacies that make him very, very deadly if played correctly, but very, very weak if played incorrectly. So I'm going to break down how to build him, all of his abilities, and basically just give you guys a little bit of an overview about how you should be using him. And I'll hop into things now. Now the first ability that you need to know about Scarf is his Fan the Flames Heroic Perk. Now basically what this is, is it's a passive that he gets at the very beginning of every match and it will allow him to fan the flames to any burning enemy and make the flames hotter and therefore do more damage. Now any flame damage done by Scarf is actually based off of base HP of an enemy and not just pure damage. That means that even heroes like Adagio and like Catherine and like Cruel will actually take a lot of base damage which is really really helpful for taking down those heavy tanks. Now, if you refresh someone by hitting them with an auto attack, that will not only refresh the burn, but it will also increase the burn percentage by 3%. The base percentage is 3%, but every auto attack or ability landed on a person who is burning will make those flames burn hotter and therefore do more damage. Now, you do have to know this does a little bit less damage to Kraken, just to make it a little bit more balanced, but obviously, over time, it's going to do a lot of damage, and even against Kraken, it can be very useful. Now moving into our next ability, you're going to want to know about the Spitfire. The Spitfire is basically Scarf's harass and it's uh, basically the only way that he can do a lot of damage and burst down enemies. Now what it does is it basically throws a giant fireball across the map. It is fairly small compared to Ringo's alt and it does not go as far, but it is a skill shot meaning that you can do some really really nice things with it. The other thing that it means is it's actually going to be very hard to land onto enemies and you're going to have to be very sneaky with Scarf. I'll talk about this a little bit later in the video when it comes to the build, but you're definitely going to want to be mobile when it comes to Scarf so that you can get into position to shoot this, because this is his harass and you're always going to want to be throwing it at enemies. Now the second ab ability that Scarf has, uh, technically this is his third, but it's his second active ability, and uh, it's called Goop. So basically what happens is he's going to hurl a Goop down in any location on the map, and that's not only going to slow enemies if they walk in it, but if it's lit a fire, it will do not only a little bit of burst damage, when it's lit but also damage over time so if you're trying to burst someone down and you're in a prolonged fight obviously dropping goop and then lighting it beneath them is very useful but in a lot of cases i use it as a positioning tactic so that you can make sure that enemies won't walk where you don't want them to also laying them before a fight is very useful because fleeing enemies who are on fire will actually light it bursting themselves down and making it even more deadly and if they actually realize that's going to happen they'll try to avoid it which will make it even easier for you to hunt them down so really great ability maybe not that useful in the beginning but definitely useful in team fights and near the end of an ability of a uh, match not an ability my bad moving on to the final and the ultimate that scarf has is his dragon's breath now this is absolutely epic it is probably one of my favorite abilities and it is probably one of the hardest to use it has a lot of intricacies for one while enemies are trying to flee and you're inhaling they will actually be slowed so it's really great for hunting down enemies but you have to do it immediately when they start fleeing because if they get too far away they will actually get out of range of your fire and by the time you actually start breathing they won't be anywhere near you and it will be a waste at all the other thing is that your allies while you are actually breathing fire will be shot for it like a little bit of a cannon and that will allow them to hunt down enemies who are fleeing from your fire so a really interesting alt and obviously the flames themselves do a lot of damage um, but it's hard to use and you definitely have to use it at the right time now i will note that it has 600 percent crystal ratio for its damage that means that if you build a crystal scarf which i absolutely recommend you will be doing absolute epic amounts of damage with this and even with an aegis if you build a dagger or something that can get through that shield you will do tons of damage and destroy pretty much every enemy that you come into contact with now as far as building scarf i really recommend starting off with an energy battery and two halcyon potions Obviously, you're going to want to start Scarf in lane because he's just not a strong jungle at all, and the Halcyon Potions are going to let him sustain in there. Also, the Energy Battery is there just because he uses his Spitfire a ton, and that drains his energy a lot. If you're a little bit less into that and you want to go with a little bit more damage, then you can obviously start with a Weapon Blade, but I would definitely suggest the Energy Battery because the Spitfire is really what he excels at using. Now next thing you're going to want to build into the Frostburn. Now the Frostburn is probably the most important part of this Scarf build and it really just plays off of his passive which means that when you hit someone with the ability like a Spitfire and set them on fire they're going to be slow. That's going to allow you to get closer to them, hit them with a couple of auto attacks and get those flames really really burning hot and doing a lot of damage. He's really great at taking out enemies early on in the game who aren't suspecting him from doing so much damage and uh, really just a great laner in the beginning and not that bad in the end either. When 
once he gets his alt and start doing massive amounts of damage. Now other than that, you're going to want to build a light shield and a light armor to begin with and eventually build those into an Aegis and metal jacket. Obviously, depending on the game you're playing, if you have maybe a saw in lane, you might want to build an at Atlas Pauldron. I'm not actually sure how to pronounce that one. And uh, if you're playing with a team that you feel really confident about, you might want to build a Fountain of Renewal and a Crucible just to complement those team fights. But personally, I like building just the Aegis and Metal Jacket because I play in solo queue a lot, a lot um, without my team. And that means that I'm going to be really helping myself without giving up a lot of that defense to try and help out my team who may not be really playing along with me very well. Next thing, you're going to want to build some boots. Boots are really important with Scar. For one thing, he doesn't have a natural escape, which is very, very deadly. And for another, he really needs that positioning to get his Spitfire off in the right direction. Now, at this point, you probably have all the main things that you need. You're going to get a little bit of ability power from the Frostburn. You're going to be pretty much set after the two shield and uh, jackets there. And then you're also going to have a lot of mobility from the journey boots. But you still have two spots. Now the first thing I would say is always be having flares, always be having scout traps, and getting yourself a lot of vision because scout scarf is really easy to gank and he doesn't have a lot of HP, so you really have to be careful about that. But once you're down to these final two spots, I would suggest building an Eve of Harvest so that you can sustain, and because you're going to be doing a ton, a ton of damage with your abilities uh, once you start building the Shatter Glass, which is the other thing I would definitely suggest. So basically what happens is you're going to want to build the Shatter Glass first, that's going to give you a lot of ability damage, that means you're going to be hitting really Really, really hard if they're building maybe a lot of shields maybe a couple of aegises you're going to want to build the broken myth instead of the eve of harvest but in general you definitely want to build that shatter glass so you do a lot of damage and then build the eve of harvest so that you start taking a lot of like back from them and really helping yourself sustain even if they're pounding you a little bit here and there so that's my general build for Scarf. Obviously, tell me if you like it or not. If you do, then definitely leave a like down below. If you don't, then leave a comment why you don't. And if you do not really know what I'm talking about, then uh, watch some of my other videos so that you can learn a little bit more about the game. But that's all I got for you guys today. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and become a lieutenant today. I'll talk to you guys next time.